Hey, man, these ladies be out there fronting on us ball niggas, man. They try to front on us, man. Talking about take off that hat. These niggas be hat fishing. Because niggas got a tendency to go thin up top. You know what I mean? And uh, it ain't as easy as niggas think, man, to cut this shit off, man. I cut my shit off as soon as my shit start going thin. But not everybody's able to do that shit. Everybody ain't able to do that shit, man. Some of these niggas can't let that hair go because you got to think. That's a fucking decision you make right now to never have her again. And you ain't never been bald in your life. You know, thank God I got a nice shaped head. Because I know some niggas who went bald and they heads look like the trunk of a sob. Like, God damn. But as much as y'all chicks be trying to front us, what about y'all? Take off that motherfucking lace front. Take off that quick weave. Take off that motherfucking wig. Let's see what's underneath there. Why is this shit gone on the side? Where's your edges at? Why your hairline way the fuck back here? Why your ponytail back here wagging like a little pit bull nub? Stop fronting us for a nigga slap your wig off and bitch end up going from Beyonce to Catino Mobley in the face. Don't be offended, B. Be inspired. Out there trying to front us, man. Monday, you got motherfucking a big natural afro. You know what I mean? By Friday, your shit's short with a part in it. Bitch, we need a point guard. You trying to play or what? I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You can't never talk about a man taking off his hat. I don't care what his head look like. If underneath your motherfucking uh, sew-in, you got some motherfucking uh, Trey Songz braids. I love my ball head. I love my shit, man. You know how much money I save by not going to the barbershop? You know what I mean? All I got to do is buy a pack of razors for $30, and them motherfuckers going to last me about eight months. Come on. One haircut is $20. I'm winning. Meanwhile, y'all asses done wore the wig to the club, and they smoked in the club. Now your wig smell like cigarettes, so you had to wash it and shampoo it and hang it on a hanger, and then nobody knows, so your family come in the house and think you done killed three skunks. Don't try to attack our insecurity. You know what I'm saying? Men are insecure as fuck about their hairline. When that shit start going away, it's like, nigga, that was what made me cute. The fuck? How the fuck am I going to strive out here in this world? I can't survive without a hairline. You know what I mean? You don't know what these niggas be going through. I'm going to keep it funky with you. I know a nigga right now that got his hairline starts way back here. But he got Beijing dye from here all the way to there. I had to respect it as a man. Peer pressure died in the 90s, you know. Obviously, he's going through a midlife crisis. But in my head, a nigga like, what up, boy? All right, good to see you. God damn, look at his head. Look like he been breakdancing, spinning on his head on a freshly paved driveway. It looked like he got four melted licorices in his head. My cousin had a regal painted the same color. I wonder if they got it done at the same shop. Probably. I don't know. What the fuck? You got to let us be, man. We don't attack y'all insecurities like that. Like, hey, ma'am, why is your leggings pulled all the way up past your belly button? It looks like you're stealing right now. We don't say that shit in public. We don't be over like, hey, your ass is fat, but your stomach is even fatter than your ass, so they both offset like football penalties. We don't say that. We don't walk up like, hey, your eyebrows, I don't know where you got them done, but it looks like uh, you ain't gonna believe a word that I said. And that bitch partying like, that's my song, bitch. Hey, hey, turn up. We let y'all slide all the damn time. You know what I'm saying? Y'all posting pictures and hashtag long hair don't care. It's like, bitch, you gonna post a location and a price where you got it at so other people can eat? It's okay. You don't have to say a nigga hat fishing. Niggas, if a nigga's haircut is fucked up, a nigga know his haircut is fucked up. I envy every nigga out there with a dark ass hairline. Like, man, fuck you. Your shit over a dark in the motherfucker. Like, I ain't even rock a beard like this when I had a hairline and shit. You know what I mean? Just imagine a hairline with this motherfucker, man. You couldn't even tell me nothing. Nigga, I need discounts. Nigga, I'm not paying full price for nothing. Uh, I need $3 off this. Bitch, you see my beard? So ladies, leave us alone, and we'll leave you alone. Don't say we had fishing, because you had fishing too. We got on a fitted hat, and you got on a hair hat. Relax. For I have a nigga come up and pull that wig from the back, make that bitch detach like the face on a Kenwood CD player. Don't be offended, bitch. Be inspired.